The Institute for Flow Physics and Control, we generally refer to as FLOWPAC. It's the largest fluid dynamics laboratory in the U.S. Fluid dynamics and aerodynamics research at Notre Dame actually goes back to time before the Wright brothers. I have a, um, a mural which depicts an event that uh, predated the Wright brothers' first flight by about five years, which was launching a glider from the roof of La Fortune. It actually shows how far back aerodynamics goes at Notre Dame. We have what we call uh, signature areas of research in, in flow pack. Uh, these involve uh, uh, fluid structure interactions. This is how an airflow might interact with a structure. For example, airflow over a wing or around a uh, fuselage of an aircraft. Uh, another area is, is uh, multi-phase flows. This is, this is flow fields in which there are mixtures of, say, of liquids and gases. Uh, plasma dynamics is an is area we've been working in a long time. Um, another is wind energy. We've been working on, uh, on how to improve wind turbines. And uh, the most recent new area for us is in hypersonic aerodynamics. If you want to stay active, you have to be able to move where the hot problems and hot topics are. So hypersonics is a hot topic now. We're presently working on uh, developing two new facilities uh, that would be located in Whitefield. One that will be a Mach 6 wind tunnel and the other one will be a Mach 10 wind tunnel. Right now, in the United States, there's a great deal of interest in developing hypersonic aircraft, aircraft that can fly above Mach 6, so Mach 6 to maybe Mach 12. The, the purpose of this is to be able to have, let's say, an eye in the sky anywhere in the world within an hour. You know, we have satellites that, that, that are in orbit that give us information uh, on the ground, but, but these so satellites are vulnerable. Uh, and so if you have a hypersonic aircraft that could fly to some location or, or on the Earth, then it would be not vulnerable and would give us information, you know, at a real short uh, uh, time span. So, so the, the critical issue of hypersonic flight actually feeds well into my research expertise, which is uh, in the prediction if the airflow over the vehicle will be turbulent or not. If it, if you say, decide it's not turbulent, and it is, the aircraft will burn up. If you decide that it is turbulent and it isn't, the aircraft will be too heavy and won't be able to fly. And so that's really the critical issue. And the, 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 the facility that we're designing for White Field is specifically designed to answer that question. The facilities in the Whitefield lab were, were designed specifically to bridge that gap between what you see in typical university uh, environment to ones that will meet the conditions for the real applications. We developed for Flowpack from the beginning a, uh, a, a corporate uh, relationship. Presently we work with 25 companies, five of which are small businesses. Uh, in some of these companies, we have a very special designation as being a university research partner. What's great about that uh, interaction is that we can uh, take very practical problems and we can glean from them very fundamental work and very fundamental problems that then become thesis topics for our PhD students. The expectation of, of, of growing our program even further um, is incredibly exciting and it's made to happen because of the success we've, we've had to this point and, and the success that we anticipate in, in years to come.